Hey, this is Russ. <laughs> yeah, time for another Monday video. You know, Monday videos are not e-bike related videos. Those videos are on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So uh, I had a product review uh, scheduled for this Monday, but I felt I needed a couple more days to do a better evaluation of it. So we're gonna push that off till next Monday, okay? So I'm gonna show you some stuff today though. Don't worry about that. <laughs> You know, people have asked me before, you know, since they know that I was a professional photographer for so many years and I have core qualifications as an expert witness in forensic photography, videography, and audio, I thought I'd show you a couple old cameras. Let me show you this one here. Let me pull this out here. All right. Have you guys ever seen one of these before? <laughs> yeah, this is a 4x5 sheet film camera made by crown graphic yeah now here's an interesting thing about this camera uh, when i was a little kid i used to play with this camera but not this particular one it was actually a speed graphic that my dad had for all these years he was really into photography too it turned out he was the uh, president of his uh, photography club in high school i never knew that but uh, after he passed away and i was looking through some of his old yearbooks yeah, it turns out he was the president of the of the uh, club. <laughs> so he had one of these, and I asked uh, my dad uh, when I was getting into photography and doing law enforcement work, I said, could you send me your old camera? And so he did. He sent it all the way from Chicago all the way to San Diego, where I was at the time. And uh, when we ended up moving back, I packed everything up, and then uh, everything got shipped back to Chicago. Um, but then I could never find my dad's camera. So I felt really bad. I kind of said, oh man, I lost my dad's camera. So uh, I went out and bought another one. Not that he would need it or anything like that, uh, but um, I wanted it just as a memory thing. So then years later, yeah, I found it in a box in the garage. <laughs> so yeah, this is, this is actually a better condition one than my dad's. But yeah, these things had these long bellows and everything. It's, you know, you load the sheet film in the back here. You have ground glass that you can look it through. And uh, it's, it's just, you know, <laughs> when people think of cameras that are, you know, the old uh, press cameras, you know, and the, the guy would go out and get his story for the news, they bring these old cameras, right? So anyways, so that's kind of cool. Let me show you another one. Yeah, have you ever seen these types of cameras? <laughs> Yeah, it is a medium format camera. I think it's got some dust on here. I got to dust this stuff off. It's sitting inside a, a case inside my uh, house, but yeah, it's apparently still got some dust in there. But anyways, this is a, a Mamiya RB67. Now, uh, when I started my photography school, I, I wanted to put, uh, I wanted to show some different older cameras in this display case. And I had sold off a number of cameras before this one. I had some, uh, I think my first medium format camera that I bought was the, was the, uh, what was that thing called? Oh, Veronica. Yeah, it was a Veronica um, SQAI, so a square format camera. And this one is a 6x7 camera, actually. Um, so six, 6 centimeters by um, uh, 7. And so the... Yeah, this um, <laughs> this one came from Japan. I actually bought it on eBay. You know, I, I wanted to put some type of medium format camera together here, and so um, uh, I figured this might be a nice one to have. Um, I had several of the uh, Hasselblad cameras too. Um, most people are familiar with those things. You know, wedding photographers use them, and uh, portrait photographers use them. A lot of people use them. This the six by seven camera is actually because it's, uh, it's kind of a rectangular format. Uh, a lot of people use them for commercial use. This is a really heavy camera. <laughs> not, one that, uh, not one that you would easily bring around to do you know, portable photography work. Uh, but yeah, it's a good camera. So I bought it, I put it in the case, I've never shot it. <laughs> so I have a number of cameras that are kind of like that. Um, and uh, so I figured I'd show you a couple old cameras, give you a, Give you some history of cameras here. I'll try to flip this thing back up here. You know, it's been so long I haven't used these cameras. There you go. It kind of flips up. So it has a little magnifying thing here. Yeah, a little bit of dust. A little magnifying thing on the top here. So you can look down and, and see things, right? 
Anyways, let me know if you guys collect uh, stuff like this, old cameras, old stereo equipment, uh, whatever it is that, that suits your fancy. But um, yeah, I have a number of old things that I've purchased over time. And yeah, some of them I don't even use. I just use them as collector's <laughs> items. So I'll put it back down here. So that's basically all I wanted to show you today, something a little bit different. <coughs> Still coughing. Yeah, the water's over there. I can't get to it. <laughs> so I better call it call it a day for, for this video. But anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that the review will be coming out next Monday. Showed you some old stuff that I had. Let me know what you collect. Anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys next time.